Hey, what's up? So today, I'm gonna show you how to make it look like the patina effect has taken over your project, even if it isn't metal. I'll explain. Let's do it. Now the patina effect is a chemical reaction that happens naturally to metal when it's left out in the open elements. The metal oxidizes when exposed to the air which forms this layer to protect the surface. Alright, let's paint it. Start off with a black base. I made this door knocker in another video. I'll attach the link at the end of this video. I chose it to show the patina effect because brass knockers, especially old ones, say from the 1800s, are subject to the outdoor elements. Now this product is very porous, so it did take a couple of layers, but now it is completely dry. So next, we're going to go with a dark copper. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm not going to saturate this near as much because now we're going to start giving it the um, the weathered brass look. So it doesn't need to be as thick as the black. So now it is time to rub and buff our knockers. <laughs> now rub and buff is awesome. It is a waxy, powder-like paint. And we're going to use a sort of dusting method to just get the highest points of the project now. You uh, see this here. So it's liquidy enough that it is going to stay on there. Just get a little bit on the brush and we're just going to hit a bunch of the high points. Oh, this is antique gold. And we're just brushing it on, not going to make it even. Just brushing over the top of stuff. Now, the cool part about having all these ridges and bumps and stuff that the foam caused is now we've got a lot of high points and that is good because we want to highlight all the highest points. It's going to give it, start giving it that uh, weathered look. Now the last thing I'm going to do is try to give it kind of a patina effect. And so I'm going to use a aqua green and a really light blue. Now I'm not going to completely mix them. I'm just going to sort of get them together. And then you're going to need a rag because we're going to put it on. wipe it off because we want a lot of the the brass and the gold to still shine through and we want the patina effect on some of the deeper parts and 
and as you dab it off, it'll just naturally go all over. So after you're done with the patina effect, you can go back and bring back some of the highlights or darken some of it back up, like up here on his head. Not real crazy about how much got up here, so. We'll just bring some of the highlights back out and on the cheeks, teeth, the very tip of his chin and just keep messing with it and eventually you're gonna get a really old looking brass knocker Now well, that should do it. The Jacob Marley door knocker. Now remember, be good people, or your chains will be heavier than Jacob's. <laughs> be sure to check out some of my other videos for some other fun builds, and until then, scary Christmas, my friends.